Hey all like the title says, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to disable the onboard graphics on the Gigabyte B450M DS3H motherboard. There's a few reasons why you may need to do this. Stay tuned and we'll get into the reasons why and how you actually get it done. I'll be right back. Alright y'all, like I said in the uh, intro of the video here, I'm going to show you how to disable the onboard graphics on this Gigabyte motherboard. This mainly refers to the Ryzen 2200G, 2400G, or if you got a dual core that has integrated graphics. Neither, any of them, is, this is basically the way you do on the motherboard for any CPU that will socket into the motherboard that has onboard graphics. About three weeks ago, Entertainment Arena says, uh, at Dave's Techway, bro, do you know why my monitor turns black sometimes? It won't show anything, but CPU is on. Why is, it, why is this happening? But sometimes there is no no problem. And I figured if he's having problems with this, maybe there's other people out there having issues with this or whatever. And uh, I've actually ran into this on one of the systems I was building for a customer. Whenever I put the GPU into it, it's supposed to automatically detect, as long as you're on board video and your motherboard is set to auto it's supposed to auto detect when there's a graphics card added but sometimes it don't work and I believe in this case it's the same thing um, I made an unlisted video and shared it just in that comment it had a couple of views on it but I figured I'd put out a public video about this so I'm just going to take that video that I shared there and I'm going to kind of voice over top of it because the audio on it ain't real good that's why I never made a public video out of it but uh, let me get that video pulled up here, and uh, I'll show you how it's done. To be able to do this, guys, you need to get into your into the BIOS, which is pretty easy. When you first start it up, you get the Gigabyte logo screen that pops up. Start hitting, just ta start tapping delete, or you can do it as soon as you hit the power button. Just start start tapping delete to get into your BIOS, and you'll end up at a screen that looks like this one right here. Okay. Once you get into this, this is the way it should automatically boot into it. Go over here to where it says chipset. You click on your chipset. Right there, right below where the error is at, it says integrated graphics. It's on auto. Which, that's the way mine runs, and I have no problem with this. Like I said, some people have been having problems with this issue. You go down to integrated graphics. You double click on it. You take it down, and you hit the disable button. Then, of course, you want to go up to your save and exit, save and exit, set up. And that's the way you disable the onboard graphics. Like I said, most generally, this is if you add a graphics card to the system. I wouldn't know why, any other reason why you'd want to disable your onboard graphics. But if you're having any kind of issues, once you add the graphics card, this could possibly fix the issue. It kind of forces the computer into finding the GPU to send the service through is what it does. Uh, if you like this video and if you found this video helpful, make sure you hit that like button and share it with anybody that you think it may help. If you didn't like this video, hit the hit the dislike button. There's that comment section down there. You know, I try to read them all and I try to answer them all. I try to help you guys as much as I can. And also, I'm also thinking about starting a live stream. Um, you know, just like, because I've been getting a lot of questions and stuff like that in my comments. And it takes me a while to get back to them sometimes. Think about starting like a weekly live stream, just like a Q and A. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about me doing something like that, and if that's something you guys would be interested in. If you really liked what you saw here today, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell. That way, you know next time I put out a video. Until next video, you all have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video.